one of the biggest things I learned on my mission was just too many people go on on the mission ex, you know with some sort of crazy expectation of what they're going to achieve or what they're going to what title they're going to have or you know they have to be the AP they're going to be a zone leader they're going to baptize you know 500 people whatever they're going to do and i think that was um, one of the biggest things that i learned was to not have that because god has his own plan the message of my mission i guess was uh spencer you're wrong <laughs> I think I think that's what it what it came down to was I I had all these things that I thought were going to happen, and they didn't happen that way, and uh, I'm glad they didn't. Um, especially a lot a lot of people uh, think they're successful um, based on um, some sort of title that they had or some sort of big achievement that they had, something they've done that someone else has never done before, and that's not the case. Um, I know in, in my situation, um, I felt like I was a pretty good missionary, and uh, but but I, I didn't seem to ever get uh, many like promotions. I guess um, you know I was never a zone leader. I was never an AP. Um, and you know when you're first out, and that's kind of what people tell you is that if you're a good missionary, you're going to be a zone leader. You're going to be an AP. And uh, so for my first the first part, I, I kind of was like, well, am I not doing good or what's going on? Um, but with talking to my mission president and, and and with doing my own study and prayer, I kind of discovered I had my own purpose. Um, I think uh, for us in our kind of finite state, we like to measure things by a physical occurrence of, um, I uh, do better at my job, so I get a promotion, I get a pay raise, or, um, you know, I... Uh, lifted more weights so I have bigger biceps now like we we need that uh, sort of a physical payoff to our efforts and uh, that's not that's not what it's like you know um, on on the mission it's more about the the experience and about the people and about the things that you learn um, for me I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of honestly I had a lot of strange companions and a lot of uh, you know, a lot of people that that most people couldn't get along with, and uh, I thought always thought to myself, you know, maybe the maybe uh, maybe my mission president hates me, um, and then it kind of evolved into well, maybe my mission president just trusts me a lot, and uh, and so um, I kind of discovered my little um, I guess niche um, within the mission was you know to be that be, to be that guy <laughs> because I could I could get along with people and. Uh, it reminds me of, you know, in the scriptures where it talks about, you know, we're, you know, the body, the church is the body and, and, uh, you know, the eye, I can't tell the ears, you know, I don't need you or the, or the, you know, the arm can't tell the eyes. We don't, you know, we don't need you. Um, cause you know, we all have our own strengths and, uh, just because, uh, I don't have the a title of, of a zone leader doesn't mean I can't, uh, affect, um, the work as much as a zone leader can. And uh, by the end of it, I, I kind of discovered that that was that was my mission was to to not necessarily um, lead a zone, but to um, but to help the person that was standing next to me and uh, and help them with the work. Um, and I, I feel like I, I was able to have some of my most sweetest experiences with um, just serving my companions and helping them. So uh, if you're if you're not a zone leader, if you're not an AP, don't worry about it. As long as you know you're doing your best and you can feel the spirit, you're doing your job. So